everyone, my name is Michelle, and today I'm going to be talking about a topic that none of us thought we would have to talk about anymore, but I'm going to be talking about Eugenia Cooney. I first found Eugenia after watching an Onision video where he makes a few videos saying like she needs to get help and stuff because she was basically posting these videos online and she was actually kind of looks like a skeleton in my opinion. I understand that people can be triggered by this because first of all, people who are teenagers or really anybody can be triggered and be like, oh my goodness, I want to be as thin as her. I definitely didn't feel that way and I know a lot of other people don't feel that they want to be skin and bone, but what was upsetting to me was that she was flaunting her body even after people said that this was triggering because it honestly looks to me like she might not wake up tomorrow because her arm looked like an actual like bone like you might see in science lab or something like a human bone and she has never commented on it at all which was also upsetting to me and when people say that she's such a nice girl and she deserves all the best this is true but I don't see her as nice if she continues you can only say how did how do you care about these people if you're literally triggering 12 year old girls to starve themselves so then Shane Dawson made a video on it and I'm like, yay, because I know Eugenia, she's gonna get better with the help of our psychologist friend Shane Dawson. And she was looking to be an appropriate weight. I don't know, it looked like she was going through recovery and she didn't anymore look like a skeleton. I thought that that was it. And I'm like, okay, I'm not really interested in her videos in, in general, it's just a personal opinion. I'm sure her videos are great, but I was like, okay, she's all better now and Bye. I think the other day she was filming an Animal Crossing live stream, which, good for you, but first off the bat, she looks a lot skinnier than she did in the Shane Dawson video, and it almost looks to me like she's going through some sort of a relapse kind of thing. If you understand addiction, you understand that this happens. You can't just have an eating disorder and then just eat and now you're fixed, but at the same time, it is worrisome to see this happening again, especially for all her fans who love her and all of the YouTube community. So she was filming this live stream and she was playing and then she remembered that she forgot her Nintendo Switch upstairs. So she basically called her mom on the phone and she's like, hey mom, where's my Switch? And then at the end she said, can I go grab my Switch upstairs? Which for me, I would not even think for a second that that was a problem. But people caught on to this and they were like, this could be something like a clue to our investigation into Eugenia Cooney. I'm gonna call my mom and just like, I'm just gonna see. Um, yeah, let me, let me see, maybe, maybe I could try. Hello? Hi, so just so you know, like, do you, is my switch still upstairs? Oh, it must be. Can I, like, get it? Sure. Okay, because if I try an SD card, it possibly might come back, but I don't know. Awesome. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so my switch still is upstairs, guys. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go get it. We'll give it a try. Um, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. At this point, we're restarting. I'm like, hopefully I wouldn't crash it on my other Switch, but, oh yeah, it was a real phone call. Um, yeah, so, um, okay, I'm gonna just go grab it really quick, and I'll be right back. So, one second. Because we know that she's 25 years old, and she's still living with her mom. That could be because her and her mom have an amazing relationship, and they want to live together, but at the same time, Eugenia is a YouTuber. We know how much money that YouTubers can potentially make, and we know that she could definitely afford her own apartment or house. It's also worrisome because if you're a parent, and you see that your child isn't eating and that they are actual skin and bones, I would be more like, I would be so afraid. And especially if that child passed away, everyone's gonna look at you and be like, what were you thinking? You should have done something. So people put two and two together and they're like, what if Eugenia's mom is abusive to her daughter. In the Shane Dawson video, we got a tour of her house, the house that her and her mom live in together, and we learned that there were some locks in the house that Eugenia didn't know how to open, which is interesting because it's like, I'm thinking now, if there was a room in my house that my mother had locked up, I would be like, like, I feel like that is kind of a red flag, and congrats to the people who are inquisitive and actually notice those things, whereas I was just watching the video like, oh yay, she's better! Do I have a lot of questions for her mother and her? <laughs> yes, I do. So we actually found out from the rehab that Eugenia went to that the mom was actually a problem. We learned that her mother is extremely controlling, which is really interesting because if I was a controlling mother, the first thing I would want to control is the life like, to make sure my child doesn't 
die. I feel like that is something that you can probably try to control. So the reason all the hype is going on about her mother right now is because she had to ask to go upstairs. And there could be a hundred reasons why she had to ask to go upstairs. Maybe her mom was sleeping, or she was busy, or she said, please don't come upstairs, I'm doing whatever. But one of the theories is that she's not allowed to go in certain parts of the house. So Eugenia gets up and then she goes upstairs, or I don't know where she went, but she went off screen. You can hear her say, like, bumping into things, and she's like, I can't see! Then she comes back and she's all smiley like she always is, and she's like, oh guys, like, it's, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everyone's in the chat like, are you okay? You're like, I can't see. And she's like, no, 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 I'm fine. Mom? 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 I can't see. Okay, anyways, um, wait, so I have the little micro SD card, um, so, what do I do? Do I just, like, oh yeah, I'm fine, um, anyways, do I just, like, put this in there, or what do I do? Oh, better not touch that part. Um, okay, so, I'm guessing to put it in, I need to, like, mom, I can't see? Oh, yeah, I, oh god, uh -huh. Yeah, there was no lights on. It was like literally like pitch black. Oh, I'm totally fine. Sorry if you guys like heard, you heard me yelling. Yeah. Um, okay, like people, like I think like my family, <laughs> she's all the way down on the other light, so I didn't know she was up there. I think she's in a different room because I actually didn't see her upstairs. But no, I'm fine. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I said I couldn't see because it was literally like pitch black. I turned the light on now, but like, there was, like, the lights were totally off, so I couldn't, I, 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 I and I'm sorry if I got kind of loud or if I sounded angry, I wasn't angry at her at all, um, the reason I might have sounded, like, loud, I guess, was because, yeah, no, I was just like, there's no lights, like, yeah, no, but everything's totally fine, um, I have a light on now, but just when I went upstairs, like, I think she was probably on, like, the other side of the house, so, yeah, no, I just couldn't see anything. Which is interesting because if you think about it, if you can't see, why don't you turn a light on? Unless the light switch was all the way across the room, but I don't, it's just an interesting, like it's daytime, I don't know. We can definitely piece together that something is happening. We don't know if her mom is involved or whatever, but we do know that her mom is enabling her and also that she has an issue that really needs to be addressed again. So what do you guys think is going on? Do you think that this is all completely blown out of proportion and her mom is trying her best to help her get better? I don't know guys because I see her mom in her YouTube videos and her mom is so happy and she's, you know, I would be embarrassed to be her mom in a YouTube video because people think that she's abusing her and I wouldn't want to be accused of abusing my child. I think this whole situation is very concerning and I don't know what to do. We can't call DCFS on, we can't call anybody, social workers, to go check on her because she's 25 years old. And every time fans, like every single comment that she gets is mostly, you know, are you okay? Because it's physically, you can see that she's not doing okay. So is it possible that her mom is starving her and she's living vicariously through her? If you've ever heard of the story of Gypsy, I think it was Gypsy Rose, her mom pretended that she had an illness and lied and said that, oh, they lost all of her information and medical records in Hurricane Katrina. But at the end, you find out that Gypsy killed her mom and, oh my gosh, this is a spoiler alert, but Gypsy kills her mom. We learned that the mom lied about everything because it is a mental disorder that you can experience through your child. And this could be happening. The only fault in this is that Eugenia is physically sick. So it could either be that the mom does not have this and she's completely unrelated, or she could be starving her or in influencing her not to eat. So yeah, I hope you guys learned a little bit in this video. Be sure to comment below any thoughts and thank you so much for watching.